All right, Jason, this is for you. I am going to try to find where it was I. Okay, so to implant a video into updates, or this is actually how I do it into my actual classes. Um, as you go through, you'll kind of see how I did it. Um, see, right there is where I already put in a video for kids to watch. Here's a secret is it has to be under 100 megabytes. And this is the secret that I do. Uh, first thing is, is I do my videos um, through i uh, what is this iMovie. Um, you don't have to use iMovie. Uh, you can use whatever you want. You can use this program, Screencast-O-Matic, if you want to do. Uh, I just trying to do all Apple everything so it's converted. Um, and then what I do is I hit share and then I share it to YouTube. So go to YouTube and I have my own YouTube account. Uh, one of the positive things about this is, is I actually have a bunch of kids that have subscribed to it um, or at least know the website and then they go to it. All the videos that I upload into my class are on here. For instance, Modern World, Columbus, um, fun videos that I've done, um, Fall of Rome, and then uh, Anthropology and Diversity. So kids can get to all my videos through that. Um, what you're going to want to do is you're going to upload it to YouTube. And with the Jeff Code, you get your own account with that. So that's not a big deal. Um, and then click on the actual uh, video that you want to keep. So this is the one that I'm going to do. So what you're going to do is up here, you're just going to copy this. The actual address of YouTube. And then the only problem with this is... Um, this next program is you have to use it through uh, Safari or another thing besides uh, Google uh, or um, Chrome. Chrome just does not work very well with uh, Java. So I'm going to switch over here to, um, it's called KeepVid, just KeepVid.com. And um, actually what I will do is I will exit <coughs> out of that and then... I will add, so you're going to go into keepvid like this, um, dot com, and it may prompt me to run the program. Yep, there we go. So first you're going to just hit accept, run, no big deal, it just says you can run job on there. You're going to paste the website that you did YouTube, uh, the video that you want, and then just click download, take two seconds. And then right here you can see the picture is the same as in the title of what it was. Um, there is two MP4 files. If you notice, uh, the top one is only 5 megabytes. The bottom one is 17.9. Um, at this point I can use either one of them, but if you ever have a file that's borderline, I always use the top one. Um, the quality, obviously it's not... Uh, it's high tech, who cares? Um, so you just hit download, um, and then it's gonna download. You'll see up in the computer, up in the corner here, it says that it's downloading. Um, and then you're gonna see that, that it's uh, downloaded as QuickTime. I just exit out of it, because I don't really need that. And then when, let's see, where am I going? And then when, I don't need this anymore. Then when I go into Schoology, and I'll do this, let's just say I'm going to add it to an update here. Um, so you go into Anthropology, you're going to write an update, and then it's going to say File. And then I do um, your downloads. And why is it turning out like that? There we go. So Finals Week right here is the uh, 5.2 megabytes. I'm just going to down click and basically it'll load it up in there. Um, at first you're going to see it is um, it won't show up at first. It takes a while for it to think um, but then eventually you'll see the picture and stuff like that. I'm going to exit out of this because I don't really need it again since it's right there. Um, let's go in and I'll show you real quick into materials as well. Um, the cool, cool thing about this is when I do um, my 
this is just something that I was has already but say I'm going to edit the page and I want that video say I want that in my actual classroom so say I want it let's find a spot um, let's just put it right here so you're going to actually insert it again exact same way and you're going to attach a file um, and again it says max one file 100 megabytes um, and you can enter it just like you would do like a regular picture uh, it's kind of nice it, the video will show up um, you will not get the shield up there because it's run through uh, Schoology and I don't know why I have one student that says he still can't do it of course these kind of issues anyway um, but then the backup is if a kid says oh I still can't see it well go to my YouTube account this is where it is this is where the video is I'm gonna exit out of that because I don't really want it in there um, so hopefully that will help you to figure out how to uh, download different movies into your classes um, like I said you can do it in the video and stuff um, make your video put it up in YouTube uh, use nope which way am I going there we go use keep vid drop it down then download it from there into a smaller file and then that smaller file as long as it's not over 100 uh, megabytes you can download it as a regular image in there and it's kind of nice it'll work so hope that works for you uh, I forgot something, didn't cover it, just let me know.